It's the vibe with Tanya Rad and EJ. Thank you guys so much for listening. This is the part of the show where we talk all things podcast. And I'm very excited to introduce my guest this week because he is my pastor. He is my friend and he is a fellow podcast host and an author as well. So please welcome to the show, Chad Beach, everybody. Oh, thank you so much for having me on. This is unreal. This is, um, Honestly, so I don't, I don't know how many years it's been, but I, Chad and I met like several years ago and he's one of those people where the minute that I met him, I knew he was going to be in my life forever. And you were living in Seattle at the time, not even in Los Angeles and cut to six months later, you ended up moving to Los Angeles to start a church. I didn't have a home church. And so now we do life together. (laughs) Right. Yeah, I'll never forget the Beverly Hills Hotel, Generosity Water fundraiser night, and uh, some of our friends were there, and we just had a great night, everybody together, and just, yeah, it was like, okay, we're doing this. Uh, maybe, maybe you're the reason why we moved the family down to LA. You never know. <laughs> you never know. But the thing that I love so much about you is because you're a pastor. And so you are, you're a leader and you, your podcast is called leadership lean in. And it's all about leadership and that responsibility and how you can kind of create a leader in you. And you've written several books and you're just one of those people that I find to just be very, you lead your life by example. And you're so inspirational to just watch because you're just kind and you do what you do and you're very good at what you do. So I just love that you have this platform to share yourself with us. Oh, well, that's very, very kind. Thank you so much. But you're the same. You know, I think the reason why you've had the success that you have and continue to excel to heights that probably you never even imagined is because you're a self-starter, you're highly motivated, but the way that you treat people is so classy, so kind, so considerate. You're a great friend, you're a great coworker, and that's great. One of the lines that we've been using talking about this book is you can't do life well if you're doing people wrong. Like it's just wow. impossible to live a good life and to treat people poorly. So I think that if you treat people well, you will live a good life. And your podcast is called Leadership Lean In. And like I said before, you are somebody that I, you are a born leader. Like you just, you just, you just are. And so I think for people that are listening to the show right now, what would they gain from listening to your podcast? Well, I think, you know, the, the title says it, you know, the, the, the value of the podcast and that's leaning into the subject. I think whatever you lean into, it leans back into your life. And that's just, a, that's, a, that's a principle of life. So I wanted to lean into wisdom, lean into the subject of leadership. Not to say I'm a perfect leader, but, you know, we have guests on that I interview all different spheres of culture, spheres of influence, and I just ask them questions. I'm trying to pull out their greatness. I'm trying to discover their genius because I think as I ask them questions, I might learn something about life and leadership that I didn't know. Tanya, you've been on the podcast and, you know, I just asked you, how did you get here? What what did you do? How did you, you know, uh, grind it out for so many years and just stay content? and yet still as a visionary and a dreamer, push to achieve to where you were going. So I think the podcast is just all about trying to say, hey, we can learn from anybody. You can really learn from anyone. And so let's sit down and have a conversation and lean into this leader and try and pull out why they're great. It's so interesting that you say that because it's so true. I think everybody has such a unique journey in life and to like where they got to where they are now. And so I think by listening to your podcast, and I remember when I was a part of your podcast, I think, you you know, everybody's story is so unique. And so it's just, I think, I think what really bogs people down is like, they're like, well, I'm not, you know, a born natural leader and I, I don't have it in me. And it's like, I didn't think I had this in me either. You know what I mean? Like you really just don't know. And so until you really, it's something that you hone in on and practice. And so I think by like sharing everybody's stories, you can really learn a lot about yourself. You can be like, oh, I resonate with that. I'm like that too. Totally. Because, you know, all of us have different personalities. That's fine. You know, everyone's so into the Enneagram or these personality tests. We all have a different, you know, personality, but no two people are the exact same. Yeah. We all have a uniqueness. The way I like to say it, 
is that we're all a designer's original. You know, God made each of us. He fearfully and wonderfully created us with genius in us. So, so if, if God made us, he didn't make mistakes. So it, life is about discovering what is the greatness that's in me and how do I pull that out and put it on display for the world to receive and experience. And that's why I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for what you're doing because you had to go through years and years and years. And now the world, I mean, like when I'm driving in the car and I hear you doing like a Ford or Toyota uh, radio plug, like, you know, an ad, I'm like, Ford, that's, my yeah. girl. that's my girl right there. I might go buy a Prius or whatever you're selling. I don't care what you sell. I'm buying it. But that, that takes time for you to get comfortable in your own skin. So uh -huh. I think the podcast allows us to go, I'm, I might not be like that person, but I can receive a lot of the knowledge and understanding they have, a lot of the wisdom from their, you know, failures and their, and their successes. And I think for, for people that are listening, I think something that you do really well, Chad, is you, you can give tangible, actual, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, a tangible, actual, uh, things that people can do, like takeaways that you can actually like write down and learn from and sit down and digest. I feel like every time I listen to you, I, I constantly, I create like a notes page in my phone because there's so many digestible things that I can actually and practically, you know, weave into the way that I live my life. And so I think for people that are listening, I think Leadership Lean in this podcast is going to be really beneficial because you really do have tangible takeaways that we can incorporate into our lives. You know, I, I, I believe in that with all my heart. I, you know, I still like Twitter. I know I'm old, I'm 40, but I like, I like Twitter because I like, we call those handles. You know, I don't know if you've ever like went up like a big staircase and like you need something to grab onto to help lift you up. Yeah. I think quotes are handles. Mm -hmm. You know, like when I say you can't do life well if you're doing people wrong, that's sticky. That's a tweet. Yeah. And I think, you know, we're always looking to find something that's like, hey, don't use people to build your confidence, build their confidence. Oh, I can remember that. You know, yeah. I don't think there's a reason why the USA Today is written to a fourth grade reading level. It's because we need to just don't, don't have the cookie jar way up there for only the elite people. Put the cookies down so everybody can grab them. I think that's what leadership's about. Just trying to make it really bite-sized, handles, quotes, and just, hey, we all, we all want to get better. Let's not make it hard. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I also want to get in because you've written other books, uh, in the, you've written several books. This is your third book now. Third, third published book. I had one, you know, self-published, which means it sits in the garage. So yes, third real book. Okay. So third published book. Um, and it's called help. I work with people and I kind of just want you to share any, for anybody listening, what, you know, takeaways they're going to gain from this book. Well, I think at the end of the day, life is all about people. It just, like, life is all about people. We could run some quotes, some handles here, right? Like, your network is your net worth. You're only as rich as relationships. And we're all in the people business. And most people despise, oh, you know, I'd love my job, or I'd love my church, or I'd love my neighborhood, but so-and-so. The only problem with the blame game is it doesn't get me anywhere. I've got to learn how to work well with others. I've got to learn how to treat people with respect and kindness. It's the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. So the okay. genesis of the book is to pivot people from people are my problem to people are my passion. You know, my favorite book growing up was How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And I, when I read it, it was like, thank you cards. Memorize people's names. Make eye contact. Use manners. Listen before you speak. All those cheat codes on people skills I'm into that because I think if we treat people well, we'll get the best version of them. Yeah. A lot of times we get the worst version of people because we disrespect them. So that's really the heart of the book. It's so true how you say that though, because I, there was somebody once said like, uh, people will never remember what you say, but they'll remember how you make them feel. And I think that that's so true. And I actually want to, um, to, to spotlight this because so our, you know, we live in Los Angeles and, and I feel like LA gets like a really bad rap. It's the center of Hollywood and, you know, all these things. And I love this city so much. And, um, oh. I, you know, I have seen you, you deal with everybody from, Chris Pratt and Kourtney Kardashian to some, a random friend that I met last week and brought to church with me. And you literally treat everybody the same with the same amount of respect and kindness and love. And I have had people 
cry to me because they haven't been treated that way before from a pastor. And so I just, I think that, you know, and I don't think it's something you do intentionally. I think you do it just because that's who you are. But um, I think it's just a testament to kind of just remember, you know what I mean? Like everybody, how many people we meet in a day at the grocery store, at our local coffee shop. And I think sometimes we just forget to just be kind. Oh, well, no matter who you are, you are not exempt from the human need. Every humans have the same need. So I need to be encouraged. I, I need affirmation. I need physical touch. Hello from my wife. You know, I, we all have human <laughs> needs, right? And, and I, I think that we've all been to those parties where someone's looking at you, but they're looking past you and they, they just, you're invisible to them. And I think humans need to be known and needed. You will find your relationship sore. You'll find open doors for you. If you treat every person like I need to know you and I need you in my life. If we wow. treat people as they're just dispensable, they're just another, I'm just using them to get further in my career. People can sense that. They know that. They're not dumb. Yeah. Every person has intuition. And so I think we have to really get our values right. Now, the first section of the book, though, deals with self because we can't do that if we're insecure. We can't do that if we don't know our why, our purpose on earth. We can't treat others well if we treat ourselves poorly. So mm -hmm. the first section really deals with ourself because if we can get ourself down, understand how to lead ourselves and love ourselves, it'll be easy to love others. So that's the, the first half is self love and leadership. And then the second part is for other people. And then, and then the last part is teams, groups, families. You know, a lot of our problems are in our families, family mm -hmm. dynamics, sibling rivalry. There's issues at home, divorce. And so it starts with me, then it goes to my relationships, and then it's the, the team, the family, the group. So that's really the three sections of the book. That's amazing. I mean, I know, obviously, if you're listening, you can hear the passion in your voice. And it's just everything you do, I am just such a fan. I love to support. I think you're an incredible leader. And I hope everybody checks out this book. It's called Help I Work With People. Uh, Chad, where can people get the book? Uh, you can go any uh, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, any retail outlet, or you go to my name, chadbeach.org, and you can purchase it there. Awesome. And then the podcast, uh, Leadership Lean In, you can listen to that wherever you get your podcasts. Chad, thank you so much for taking the time today. We love you and can't wait to see what you do next. You're the greatest ever.